Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So I am continuing with my MoU London stamping plates. I am now on L and the first one is the literature collection. I have quite a few here and I'll just show you. I'm going to do this one, but I'll just show you the rest of them. So this is Gatsby plate 05. All the plates have um, quotes from the books and little matching images to go with it. This is 03, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Around the World in 80 Days, plate 04. And The Count of Monte Cristo, plate 09. And the Jungle Book, plate 08. Now, I did do a, um, a whole Manny using this plate, and I recorded it, but I believe I accidentally deleted it. So, um, if I can, I'll show the, the picture of it, if I can't find the video. Um, however, I was not in the mood to do it again, so... This time, I am going to use Frankenstein, plate 07. One of my favorites, if I've never mentioned it before, um, a couple of things. One, I'm an avid book lover. I love books. I love reading all about it. And I love horror. I love science fiction. I love classic literature. I could go on and on about everything I love, but this one really um, is a favorite. So I thought I was going to do this plate today. And let's see, I have um, no plan, like usual. So I have these short, like, squoval tips. Um, I don't like this shape on me so I have no use for them so I figured I'll do some practice nails on these since I'm not actually going to use them uh so the biggest one was going to have the franking frankenstein image on it um because I don't think it will fit on anything else so, um, I was thinking about doing a couple of things. I still haven't decided 100% yet. So, um, I was thinking about, let's see. Yeah, this. All right. So, this, I'm sorry. This is Ghoulish B347 from Maniology. I'm not in frame. There we go. And... I'm just going to put quick layer on here. Because these are short like squoffles, <laughs> to me they look like toenails. All right. So this is going to be stamped in black. And then I picked out this color, which is... One and a Melon, B516. I'm sorry, I'm still not in frame. So I thought I would paint his face in this color. And while I'm debating, let's go ahead and pick up Mr. Frankenstein himself. I've not used this plate, so hopefully it works well. Just to see if it's going to fit. Yeah. <clears throat> uh -oh. Slide everything out the way. I need a brush. I need the pot. 
polish, give it a shaky shaky, and I don't have a palette nearby, so I'm just going to put it on the edge of the plate. Oh, oops. I should have did his like eyes <laughs> in a different color <laughs> so that they show. Oh well. I really hope y'all cannot hear my stomach growling. And I'm going to leave the Frankenstein to show up in the other color. Yeah, I like that. That's smeared a little bit down there, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna try something and see if it works. It may not. I wanna see if how the gray shows up over the green. I don't know. I just don't want the strong black. Oh my goodness. Contrast. Oh my God. Over nails are so hard to tell which one's the front and which one's the back. I think it goes this way. Um, I just didn't, I don't want the strong gray. I mean, strong black. So I'm just trying to decide on a phrase. That was a lot of polish. It's a little lighter than I would have liked. I don't know, hate it. Let's see if we do the opposite. What if we do a gray nail with the word stamped in green? Maybe it'll show up better. And if not, at least my colors are cohesive. Okay, that 
The heart is definitely going to be in black. I didn't say what color this is, but it's um, Blood Blender, and I don't know what number right now. I'll show the bottom of the bottle afterwards. Yummy, yummy heart. Mm. So I would show you. Let me show you. This is Blood Blender B four four five. Okie dokie. So Mr. Frankenstein should be done, but I don't have a sticky base. So I'm going to go the traditional route and just put, instead of doing my sponge with the other one, I'm just going to do this. And then it has to get to that perfect consistency. Should the heart go over a green or should it go over a gray? I'm not sure. I kind of like it over the green. Hmm. I never know exactly when sticky, oops, is ready. And that one was not ready. What I should have did was put the heart down and then stamp the words over it, huh? That would have been super cool if it was in the background. Let's see if I can get this to work. My main problem is centering. Perfect. Ooh, Frankenstein. Yes, I like. All right. Um, Okay, I said I wasn't going to do so much black because of the um, harshness. Oops, wrong one. But otherwise, it's not going to show up on this. So it's his little bolts. So I'm going to do the right there. Oh, that one didn't take. Okay. So I mess this up, but hopefully I can fix it. And then the little science. Thingies on the other side.
I am going to take this and just touch up a little bit. Hopefully, when I put on the top coat, sometimes you can erase things with the top coat. All right. Sticky base. So I think I'm going to do this color again, and then I'm going to kind of paint it in. And we're going to smudge free this guy. And there's the magic. I think, I don't think I'm going to be able to cover that. Yeah. But that is definitely when the magic happens. I'm not going to smudge free that one. I may just stamp over that because I'm not digging it as much. All right, let's see. We're going to slap the heart on here. Just kind of right in the middle. Yeah. Man, see, this is why I don't do smudge free top coat by painting it on because I always mess it up. It might like just fit. Let's try. Oh, this black. All right, yeah, it's going to fit on the now. Okay, I don't know why I thought it wouldn't, but that's what I thought, so. I'm going to go back in with the dark gray first this time. Yeah, I like that better than having um, all right. 
maybe I will do the pink brain. Hmm. Should it be pink or should it be gray? I don't know why I want it gray. I don't think it really matters, but... One of my bristles is going kooky dookie, so I'm trying to get it to When a bristle is going rogue like that, you risk, um... Touching it somewhere you don't want to. Okay, that's better. Okay. Now for this, I'm not sure if I should do do it lead lighting or reverse. I guess I'm just gonna do reverse because I don't know. I oh, know I'm way over here, sorry. Okay, yeah, you see how it kind of looks like it's floating in there now? Yeah, and you'll get a little bit of that green tint too, yes. Good choice. I think it's a good choice. All right, did I put sticky on here or did I not? I don't know if I did. But mm -hmm. we're going to see if this works with sticky stamping polish. Try the dab method. Don't want to over dab because you can see it does take some of the pigment with it. But the purpose oh, of doing that is no dry time, no waiting for dry time. But I just messed up. You know why? Because I didn't let my. stamp dry <laughs> oh my god i was so concerned oh my gosh that was so perfect too oh boy i was so concerned with my sticky that Ooh, it's a blobby mess i didn't let the paint dry on my stamper so this is what i ended up with so we shall go dink 
take that off. That is now garbage in my opinion. And we will grab another one. I have no idea what size this is. We don't care. Oh boy. Okay, let that dry again. And then let's see, I might do something different. I'm gonna try to pick up the words in this ugh, dark gray. And see if the light coming into my room just shifted and it changed everything. I was just going to see if this would like show up better. But I don't know if I'll be able to get it to line up. Holy mackerel, I did it. And it's not perfect, but close. So, oh my goodness, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> that sticky base, not smudge free. Another one down the drain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get another one. Oops, I just flung a nail to the floor. This is a pretty small one, but no, that's too small. Let's get another one that's a little bit more fitting. Get that little nubby off. Okay, there we go. anything to stamp remember because I ruined it oh boy I gotta start again the last time. Seriously. Whew. That did not get messed up. I don't know how.
Schön. This is one of my favorite polishes ever. All of the um, these kind of series, this, I don't know if they're called duochrome, but the iridescence and stuff is just amazing. And the color shift, so cool. be able to see that like iridescence and then see the green through it which is what I want I am laying it on kind of thick just in like a couple places to kind of give it that little bit of oomph Okay. But that is laid on pretty thick, so we're gonna let this dry. And while that's drying, we shall move on. Kind of went out a little too thin right there. That gray now seems a little out of place. We might do it this way. Maybe. Depends on what's going on it, right? Okay. Trying to make sure it's even in there so when I stamp it comes out even. All right, let's see. I cannot inspire love, I will cause fear.
I'm picking up the different surgical tools. And then I want the little bottles right here. The beakers. I don't like the way the bolts came out. Let me shake this up a little. Figure out how to play some. I'm not worried about that little oopsie, that's okay. Let's do this again. See if I can get it to work this time. Okay, please, 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 please. Perfect. Love the way that one looks. Okay, so I thought I wasn't doing words in that again, but
with some of the words are a little bit blurry, but I'm still going to go with it because they're going to be over the image anyway. Not ideal, but... Well, that one came out the best. All right, now to line them up, I think. Okay, now I like the heart. I wasn't too sure about it before, but now I really like it. <laughs> 